Okay, in this uh, last uh, section on uh, rigid heddle weaving here, uh, part three, we're going to be talking about the various parts of a rigid heddle loom and uh, a little bit of how you use the loom, where you use it, uh, the advantages of perhaps getting a stand at some point, um, the, uh, the, you know, what comes with the, uh, the Kromsky harp uh, pr uh, product here. Uh, the harps come in three sizes, 16, 24, and 30 two inch length, that's the, the width up here. The, uh, the depth is, uh, remains the same. You've got a side frame and your front and rear beams here, uh, your heddle blocks that hold the, uh, the heddle. And the heddle blocks actually have three positions, up, down, and a neutral position, which will hold the heddle upright without any hands being involved as you thread the, uh, the warp through, the, uh, through the, the heddles, the slots and the holes. Um, with a rigid heddle loom, because uh, the beams rotate, uh, you create a warp typically that is, uh, allows you to do multiples of whatever you're doing. So let's say you're doing placemats. Uh, you don't make one placemat, you make six, eight, ten, twelve placemats out of one warp. So uh, you're going to put a length on here that is enough to do those multiples of uh, the placemats with a little extra left over for the, the tying up the fringe or the ends of finishing of the, of the product here. Um, generally, when you're using a rigid heddle loom, uh, this one happens to be on a stand right now, but uh, the Kromsky's put on some false legs here. They're not necessarily uh, to be used on a table. You're not gonna set it on something. You always want the loom at an angle or a rake in front of you. But uh, typically without the stand, if you can imagine that, you're going to put this loom on your front lap and these uh, legs are going to come up uh, underneath you and to a counter a edge or a, a table edge and you're going to scoot yourself in and lock this loom in between that that table and yourself and this is the position that you use it up and down with the uh, the, the rigid heddle forward and back to uh, compress the weaving yeah, it's a light loom so it's it's going to move a little bit on you but your body here holds the loom in here and basically the, the thrust is towards you and you're using your body as a dead weight to, uh, to, to do the, the weaving. And traditionally that's the, the way it's been done. Uh, with the harp you can purchase a, a, uh, an optional stand which is nice because you don't have to depend on a table edge uh, to, to do uh, the weaving. You can do it wherever you like. So if it's downstairs, upstairs, uh, back porch, wherever you can take a stand and simply put it where you want and go ahead about with your, your weaving. Uh, the phone rings, you get up, you walk away, and uh, your loom stays there. If you're not using a stand, then you have to, have to put it down. Uh, the Kromsky stand uh, is adjustable in terms of its rake up here in front. So depending on the height you're sitting here, you can bring that in and adjust it. Uh, it uh, has uh, spots over here for these pegs to go in and you can use that to uh, put a stick shuttle or a pickup stick on and uh, have a little shelf and you can do that either side or both. And it's, it's easy to put together and take apart if you want to uh, you know, move it about or, or, or take it and uh, put it in a car and go someplace with it. Um, it's nice to have a, a stand. It's something you'll have to consider but it gives you a lot of convenience and options in terms of where and how you use the, uh, the loom. Uh, one of the things that's nice about the Kromsky loom is it's, it is very portable. Uh, you see these latches over here. This is a latch and a hinge and it comes already assembled like this from the Kromskys. The, uh, the rigid heddle loom uh, will fold on us. So uh, we've got one over here that doesn't have a warp on it, but we'd simply remove the latches and uh, the loom will We'll pivot up here like this, and with a warp on it or not on it, you can fold this and put it in a, a warp uh, or a, an optional uh, harp bag that we sell. And it makes for transportation of the loom very easy for storage. If you want to put it away for a while, it'll be protected in a bag, and your your warp can stay right on it, and you can get back to your weaving whenever you uh, you come back to it again. Um, also. On the back of a, a Kromsky harp, you have holes that allow you to create a warping board. Uh, a warping board is a, is a device used to 
systematically create a, a warp for your loom. And you can see we can put on a variety of different pegs here, different combinations. The wider the loom, the longer the warp you can create. Typically a weaver is going to have to go out and purchase a, uh, a warping board. With the Kromsky harp, you can actually create that warp right on the back of it. And if you have the stand, you can mount the, the loom upside down and you can have the stand hold the loom or the warping board as you create that warp and then flip it over when you're done with it. But that's a, a nice feature, this folding portability of the loom. It's something that uh, is unique to the uh, Kromsky harp. Uh, also, because it does fold, you can, uh, you can actually break down the front of this loom when you have a warp on it and store it away on the stand, but it's going to take up less, uh, less floor space here in front of you. Um, consider the stand as an option, but uh, I think for many people, uh, probably 50, 60 percent of the people get a stand to uh, go with their Kromsky harp at some point. So you've got the frame, the rolling uh, uh, beams up here, a longer warp, three, four, five uh, yards long, uh, optional heddle blocks uh, to use two uh, heddles at the same time. They would be the same dent number, so be aware of that. Um, ways of using these pegs to create shelving, uh, the uh, warping board you have over here. This is the uh, kind of the complete package. Uh, just the last couple of things. If you don't want to use a warping board, the, uh, the Kromsky Harp comes with a warping peg. It allows you to warp directly onto the loom. Um, generally, I think of this for smaller width looms or smaller projects that are not uh, terribly long. Um, I mentioned that uh, your harp comes with a, uh, a pickup stick and you use that behind the heddle and each harp comes with uh, two uh, shuttles, stick shuttles and uh, uh, they come size for the particular loom you have and the yarn simply is wrapped around these, uh, these hooks on either end of it to create the yarn that you then pass through your, your shed from uh, one side uh, to the other. Um, and you might want to have extra uh, stick shuttles depending on the, uh, the number of colors you're using here in your weft. Um, they come up to sizes of 32 inches, but if you're weaving something that's uh, 5 or 6 inches wide, you may not prefer to use a, a longer shuttle. We have them down to 4 inches in size, and they're real nice to have. So a warping peg, a warping board, pegs to go on your stand for options there, uh, pickup stick, a standard 10 dent uh, heddle. Uh, out of the box this loom is finished. You don't have to do anything with it. Just put on these, uh, these cross supports here and you're quickly in business. The harp also comes with a, a DVD that will uh, show you how to assemble it. It's very easy to begin with but it'll help you along. And then there's also a 15-18 minute uh, segment on there about using the warping board, the warping peg, and dressing your loom for the first time. Uh, for a first project. Um, just a real nice uh, package that the Kromsky's put together. A rigid heddle loom is a great way to learn about weaving. Uh, it's got a, an attractive price point so entry into weaving is, is not a, a big investment when you're still questioning whether uh, this is something you're going to enjoy. So we encourage you to look at the uh, the harp, the harp package, what comes with it. Uh, it's really complete. There's There's really nothing else you need to do other than yarn and uh, an idea for a project. So that completes our uh, section on rigid heddle weaving. In the future we'll have some uh, programs on uh, actually weaving, uh, warping the loom, using these parts that come with it. Uh, but we hope this is enough to get you some idea about uh, whether or not uh, weaving with a Kromsky harp is something that you'll want to do in the, in the near future. This is uh, Tim Horschler with uh, this version of Tim Talks. Thanks.